Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add metadata to your photos in Lightroom. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at metadata inside Lightroom. In the library panel, you have a metadata panel here, and you can open it up to see the metadata that is stored inside your image. Now a lot of this metadata is actually provided by the camera, so you'll see information such as the file size and the file type. You'll see whether or not the flash was fired and what sort of camera settings you used, the lens and the camera that you used. Now while some metadata is automatically stored inside the image by the camera when you capture the image, this is also a place where you can store your own information. And typically the kind of metadata that you would add to your image are details about you and your copyright, and in some instances even information about the particular image. Just how much metadata you store inside your images is up to your own personal preference and also what you plan to do with your images. If you were, for example, capturing images for stock, then you would want to make sure that you had quite detailed metadata in your images the kind of metadata that your stock photo site would use to gather information about the image for keywords and things like that. If you're just a casual photographer, but if you share your images, for example, on the web via Facebook and other sites like that, then it makes good sense to add your personal copyright details to the image. This allows you to, for example, state clearly that the images are copyrighted to you and to also include information about you and where you can be found in case somebody wants to contact you about using the image. Now you can add metadata into each individual image by just clicking and typing it inside this panel, or you can do it using a metadata preset. Before we leave the basics of this panel, let's just open this drop-down list here and you can see that there's different types of metadata, so you could select default or all plug-in. But we were looking at EXIF and IPTC and the reason why we were looking for at this was that IPTC is the really important metadata. This is your information you would put in using the IPTC codes. Now I have some presets already set up, so let's have a look at this preset. I'm going to click here and choose Helen Bradley Copyright, and then let's go and choose Edit Preset so that we can have a look at it. Now this is the Edit Metadata Presets dialog, and I suggest that you go ahead now and open it and create your own metadata preset with your name in it. Now when you look at this dialog, you'll see that there's a lot of things going on here and your first thought might be, I'm just going to close it because this is all too difficult. Well, it's not actually too difficult if you know which areas that you're going to complete. You can ignore basic information and camera information and IPTC content because these are typically done on an image by image basis. So you would complete this, for example, for a stock image or for one that you were sending off to a newspaper or publication, and you would add all the discrete details about the particular image we're looking at. But if you're looking at creating just a metadata preset that has your general information in it, you can safely leave off these three options. And then go to the bottom of the dialog and you can leave off keywords, because you couldn't select a set of keywords that would be applied to every single image in your collection. And likewise, you're going to ignore the video area and the IPTC extension rights and IPCC extension models, and all of these options in here. Now the first of the ones that you're going to be concerned about is the IPTC extension administrative, because you may want to complete the digital source type. There's a drop-down list here, and all I did was select original digital capture from a real life scene because that's what I shoot, and so this is going to be appropriate to all the images in my catalogue. 
In IPTC status, I've got my credit line. It's Helen Bradley Photography with my website. In the IPTC image area, again, I don't have details that could be applied to every single image in my catalogue, so I'm going to leave that blank. But here are the two areas that I do complete, IPTC Copyright and IPTC Creator. In the copyright area here, I type my copyright details. It's copyrighted 2014 Helen Bradley All Rights Reserved. The copyright status is copyrighted. The rights usage terms are that there's no reproduction without prior permission. These are choices that I make. And my copyright info URL is my website. And then I create my own details. These are the details that are pertinent to me. This allows somebody who wants to contact me about my images to have the details that they need to contact me. So these are the only two panels that you need to complete the entirety of is IPTC Copyright, IPTC Creator. You'll go down here and in IPTC Extension Administrative, you can just select the digital source type and in the one above, IPTC Status, add your credit line. And once you've done that, that's all you need to do. Once you've completed those details, you can go up here and just choose to save the current settings as a new preset. And once you've done that, then you can use that preset in future to apply to your images. Now I'm going to apply that preset to this selected image and I do so by just selecting the preset from this list. And now the IPTC metadata has been applied to the image so that you can see that these boxes are now completed. There's credit lines and copyright information embedded now inside this image. Now, of course, I wouldn't generally do that on an image by image basis. I would go into grid view in my library and I would select every single one of my images and then apply the preset to them as a whole. So I'm doing it to thousands of images at a time. Or I can do it when I import the images. So when I choose file and then import, in the import dialog, there's an option here on apply during import. And for my metadata, I can select my Helen Bradley copyright metadata. And then it's automatically applied to the images as I import them into Lightroom. So it's a sort of set this up and then I can forget about it because it's just done automatically every single time I import my images. So there's the basics of viewing and adding your own copyright information to the metadata inside your images in Lightroom. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.